Hello there and welcome to another edition of Engineering and You, the program sponsored by Prince Engineer YMC Shilon FNSE. And the objective basically is to come to you with proven engineers that you can emulate from to become like them and probably to surpass them. Um, the program is sponsored by YMC Shilon, very interactive one. We don't only get to talk to you, you also get to you know, interact with us, answer questions and get prizes and more importantly, ask our guests some questions. So my, my question for today is, metallurgy is to dash, you fill in these gaps. Metallurgy is to what? What dash is to sound, and thermodynamics is to what? You can see it on your screen. Metallurgy is to what? Um, something dash is to sound and thermodynamics is something else. If you know the answer, what it is, you can just call us in the course of the program or you drop the answer in all our social media handles that are showing on your screen and you'll get your prize courtesy of our sponsor, Prince Engineer MC Shilon, FNSC. It's a very, 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 very interesting question, as I must say, because you have to think deep and think well before you answer this question. And the, 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 the instruction here is this. Before you answer this question, you must ask my guest a question. So if you, did, if you can do that successfully, then you can, you can get the prize. We have to take this very short break. My guest is already seated. He's already in the house. So we'll take this very short break. When we return, I'll let you know who he is and what topic he's going to be discussing with us today. I'm glad to know that you are still there. My guest on today's show is engineer Wale Olaluwoye. He is going to be discussing with us um, a very, very, a, course, a, a, a topic I consider very interesting. Engineering a sure meal ticket. You can, you can guess it as good as mine. I don't want to preempt what he has to say. I, I want to learn myself from him. So, engineer Wale, welcome to Engineering you. Yeah, thank you very this, much. This Saturday. topic looks um, <laughs> interesting, looks um, palatable, I want to say. In the quote. So please, you, yeah. you can go ahead with your, your, your presentation. Uh, all right, thank you. Uh, good evening, uh, Mr. Tindia. Good evening, uh, viewers at home. Yeah, uh, this evening, I just want to talk about, briefly about um, engineering, a short meal ticket. I've just decided to coin it that way uh, to, to just give us an, uh, yeah. So, um, engineering. So, my, my observation really uh, is that um, there are two things that uh, really determine uh, what kind of prof uh, career one is really doing. Usually, two peop uh, people will want to either learn on the job and develop their career. Some other people would uh, look more into the earning parts. Some people are career driven, they just want to do their career and be the best in their career. While for some, uh, it's just, I really must survive. Yeah, both of them actually have, uh, uh, in, in a way, they also intertwine. But I must say, of course, in the current, uh, in the current uh, state of our country in Nigeria, everybody really wants to make ends meet. And uh, as engineers, we also want to make ends meet. All right, so uh, engineering is actually a sure meal ticket. All right, so uh, uh, to start with, I would say uh, it's like, um, about 6.1 million of the people uh, in the UK, which represents about 19% of the total of the entire UK workforce, work in engineering and technology occupation. Okay, uh, the same, I think it's about 18% in the US and uh, Australia, Canada, very uh, uh, close figures. Uh, well, I may not be able to put my hands on the exact figures in Nigeria, 
but of course for the one that I have shown uh, on the slide the, the the link is there if you want to verify it okay so it actually means that yes the the, the, the workforce there is work to do in engineering to earn a living can I have the next uh, slide please so well that's my sound like UK thing but this is Nigeria Okay, so how likely am I going to earn a living if I study engineering in Nigeria? Now, if we are in Abeokuta, we are in Ogun State. If you get to the tarmac there and you see people uh, resolving, solving problems, phones and all that, that tells you that there are problems to solve in engineering. And if you, are, if you can key into solving a particular problem, then you can put food on your table. And that was why I said it's actually a sure uh, meal ticket. So if you can actually identify a problem and critically develop a solution, engineering or science beckons on you. All right, can I have the uh, next slide? So now, what are the areas of engineering jobs? Uh, well, the general trend is that people will talk about uh, mechanical, electrical, and uh, civil, and all that. But I just want to take it in another dimension. Either you are civil, you are mechanical, you are electrical, you are uh, whatever you are doing, uh, there, there are certain things that put us together. The first one I have identified there is research and development. So wh whatever field of engineering you are, you, are, you are in, you could go into the research and development area. And this is where many of our, our, our colleagues in the classroom, in the universities or polytechnics and so on, this is where they actually fit in. Okay, so they use uh, mathematical methods, scientific concepts, and all that to, to uh, yeah, uh, uh, work as engineers. Okay, so the second one is uh, the des what I've termed the design and construction engineers. Well, I'm, maybe I'm going to be biased a bit here. This is where I actually fall in at the moment. Okay, so uh, design engineers, they decide the methods, they specify the materials, they determine the technical requirements to meet performance specification. Now, uh, I was watching uh, one of the previous episodes of, uh, uh, of this program, and uh, one of our, our, our colleagues, our senior colleagues, was, was actually talking about this as one area that the engineers in Nigeria, uh, maybe we, we are lacking in a way. But this is one area that actually proves us to actually be engineers. The kind of job I do uh, gives me the opportunity to just sit in, my, in the comfort of my home, gives me the kind of, uh, yeah, um, I would say that work-life balance, mm -hmm. and uh, I think get my jobs done. I, I don't want to talk too much about that now because, uh, well, so maybe not, for some not all reason. engineers get dirty. No, no, not all I'm engineers get dirty. Field, but that, that's the impression. No, 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 no. Most parents and old people say, ah, engineer, your hand must be dirty, your body must be dirty. Well, our, our colleagues in the classroom don't get dirty too much. <laughs> and then as a design engineer, uh, I, I have my, 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 my sites in, uh, scattered in, in uh, three different countries, so to speak. I stay on my seat <laughs> in, my, in my own office. I have my screen, I have my softwares and all those things. And, and of course, the GPS, the map, every, you see, these tools are there for us to work with. And that's why I say that this is actually one area that many, we don't have that too much of, uh, of we, we don't have so much of that here, but it's an area that we should be keen on developing. It gives us that flexibility. It gives us that, that, that I mean, you have that joy that you are designing and by the time your, your work is being uh, uh, shown everywhere, you, I mean, you get that joy. That's the kind of things I enjoy as a design engineer. Can I just have this next slide? Yeah, um, so uh, the another area is the production or what I would call the manufacturing. We do, a, we do that in Nigeria, uh, though we need to improve on that actually. So the area that is most common in Nigeria is the operation and maintenance engineering, I mean engineering. So this is where we maintain machines, we control machines, plants and organization. We do a lot of maintenance. As a matter of fact, I was talking about uh, the, the computer village or the tarmac. What do they do? It's actually maintain phone. <laughs> so it's not, they, are, they are not researching into phones. They are not designing phones. They are not producing phones, but they are maintaining phones. So this is what is most common in the country. Uh, our roads, our, so many things we do as maintenance engineer in this country. Uh, yeah, so that is where we focus more on. Uh, but really, if I would advise young ones, take interest in this design. There are so many tools 
that you can look into and that just get that uh, drive, that skill. I mean, it comes and makes your life very easy as an engineer. And don't, maybe you may not get that debt mm. when it comes to that. <laughs> <laughs> so the last one there is the management and other functions. Yeah, so um, this is one key area of engineering that uh, we do not look to. In fact, we have least people here as far as I'm concerned. Uh, they, they, you see, uh, there, there's something I will just say here. We, we, we grow our uh, crops in our Greek. Uh, we don't, but we don't develop them. We send our crude crops to the outside world. They process it, manage it properly, and resell it back to us. We sell at a, a very cheap amount, and then we, we buy the real. So this, when we are able to manage properly as engineers, it helps us. And that's where this project management and so many other things come in, which I also want to encourage our colleagues to, uh, yeah, young ones, to take interest in all these things. It's not about, uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's, not, it's not really, yeah, it, I think it's something that we should take interest in. So uh, what do we need to do? I've talked talk about this before. Regardless of where you want to go into, on the online there, there are so many platforms that you can join that can help you, that can drive that interest in you to focus on what you need to learn, really. And then you, you really enjoy it because there are people who have gone far in this and are willing to just provide support, provide help, provide assistance to young engineers, which we really uh, encourage that uh, young people aspiring to be engineers, yeah, spend a lot of time on, yeah, social media is good, but there are some things on social media that will help you to develop what exactly you want to do. The materials, yeah, so beyond uh, uh, spend time on materials that will help your learning. Uh, yeah, uh, softwares, AutoCAD, and so many other softwares that I don't even know AutoCAD that you can just put your hands on and grow yourself. It helps you in the long run. Have discussions with social platforms that are, uh, are, are professional uh, platforms, really. That helps us in actually, yeah, can we have uh, the, the next slide? So, uh, so well, just for the actions, network, network with great people, learn languages, coding, analytical skills, and all these things, maximize every opportunity that you have now, even in your school. Now, it's not only about calculus. Calculus is good. So many things that you need to learn scientifically, or uh, yeah, in terms of the mathematics, the physics, and all that. But soft skills, very, very uh, essential. And I will end with my quote once again. In the near future, two things will happen. Machines and met methods will replace humans. Engineers will invent these machines and methods if you want to secure your means of survival, I think you should just consider studying engineering. <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, yeah, it's like you're preaching to the poor. <laughs> Some people are already converted. Uh, <laughs> but, okay, you know, that, that was a good one. If you want to, and I like that quote actually, yeah. if, you want, if you are considering any vocation, yeah. consider engineering. That's, that's from Engineer Wale Olalu way. Now it's time to, for you to call us, you can call us, but in the meantime, I will want to ask um, Engineer Wally some questions which has brought us to um, what you just said. You spoke about um, in Nigeria, we don't do more of designs, we do more of um, maintenance, we, don't do, we do a little of production, now which shows that there is, a, there is a space for young people to play in. Yeah. Now how, how, how do we entice them? maybe schools, parents, government, enticing them into this space where we have little or, or no players? Yeah, thank you very much. Now, that's a very, very interesting question, very good question. So for me, what I would say is the, the key to it is actually knowing it early. Key into this very, very early. Meeting, uh, I, I've just told us about different things, different platforms and all that, and different tools that you can learn. Uh, if you take interest in them very, very early, uh, online, so many things are there that you can just key into and begin to do. Now, as curriculum, uh, I'm aware that the, uh, the uh, Korean is trying to work on the, the, the curriculum of engineering in Nigeria, which I think the, the, it has been introduced to, to some extent. I don't know to, to what extent that has been done now, but they are just trying to, what they are trying to achieve, what Korean is trying to achieve is to not, not make it the business as usual, as usual thing. We want to uh, bridge the gap between the, 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 the town 
and the gown really let, let people know that thing that they actually what actually obtains what what sells in the market and let them begin to but beyond whatever efforts Korean is making I think the students or the younger ones need to also key in and then key into this uh, uh, on time they need to key into this early now most of all these works will be done by the students really uh, the, the maths will still be there for the teachers to teach the physics the all those stuff will still be there but the soft skills the, the programming language, the, 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 the softwares they need to get involved in, that will be developed by the students via the, his interaction with our senior engineers. And the good thing about, the, so, the, about our current age is that you don't need to know them. You don't need to know anyone physically or you, need, you don't need to know anyone one-on-one -on -one to interact with such a person. On LinkedIn, they are very so many people are there just type what you need they are there to support you they are there to provide that guidance that you need you see uh, i would say that uh, uh, three years ago when i had to like um uh, uh transit so to speak there were certain things i never knew that i got myself i mean uh, having i spent about three months to reorient myself right to begin to see okay what actually obtains and that has really helped me in uh, what I am doing. So uh, uh, in design, the, the, the sky, I mean, the, 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 the sky is not is even the starting point, but we need to begin to have the right orientation as younger ones. All right. How much has um, information technology affected, it affected positively or negatively, the, the profession of engineering, especially as it touched design? All right, we have a column. Glory from away. Hello, Glory. Hello, Glory. I think we lost Glory there. Uh, my question is, how much has IT affected, especially your own area of um, design, which is um, of, of engineering, which is design engineering? How has it aided it positively or negatively? Does it have any side effect? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, you see, uh, information technology or the current age we are in has the, the positive and the negative sides. Uh, it depends on your interest or what. You see, if I pick my phone now, there are so many things that are there to distract me. Once I know what exactly I'm, I need and I'm looking for, then I go for that. I don't get myself distracted with so many things. So once I know what I want and I go for it on the internet, then I begin to get resources. To, as a matter of fact, the, you, you, you will agree with me, maybe for a platform like Facebook, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to say that, but uh, whatever, the kind of things you, you search determines the kind of things you, that comes to you. Yeah. yeah, so if you, if you, if you search for maybe a, 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 a furniture now, the next thing you begin to get is furniture. So just put all that and it begins to, to help you. <clears throat> now, that is on one side. On the other side, I would say that, like I was saying, I have tools that I work with. I don't need to, uh, for instance, I have, a, I have a, a, a site, say, in Scotland. I've never, I've, I don't need to be there to, to know what is actually there. Google Earth, Google Map, and all those things are there for me to actually see what is happening on sites. Uh, yeah. And with that, I begin, I, I'm able to see, okay, what's, what does the flood uh, level look like there? But I've, I've never been there. I've never been there. So, but that information equipped me with what I need to put into consideration in my design, even in the comfort of my home. So that, that's actually the beauty of design, really. If we can take interest in, and there are so many areas of this design, so many areas. I realized that, in fact, I'm just doing a tiny part in the total value chain of what I do. But I'm really, uh, I, I, it's really fruitful, and you get to enjoy it when you see your work being utilized by people when you've never even been there. Okay, I, I want to ask you a little bit personal question. Oh, okay. Now you 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 operated in this in this field. Yeah. As an engineer. Yeah. yeah in Nigeria. Yes. You have operated somewhere else. I don't know. I don't know if you want to mention <laughs> it. outside Nigeria. Yeah. Now comparing these two, is engineering universal like someone said to me that engineering is universal oh yeah so um thank you very much <laughs> that's a very beautiful question uh yeah so what i would always say that is that engineering principles are global but the practice now is local the principles are very global 
but the operational procedures are local. Now, let me, oh my God, let me say this. Now, you said personal. I remember in one of the, while I was trying to get a job outside, one of the uh, uh, challenges I faced during the interview, uh, you know, the challenges we have in the country here uh, when there's problem with our power, or sorry, in an area or something, the next thing that we'll probably do is to uh, uh, load shed and yeah. stuff like that. Those are the, those are the kind of solutions I was looking at. But that, was, that isn't what obtains in, I mean, where, where I was. So the kind of solution, uh, in fact, in the interview I saw that while you, are, you seem to be preferring the solution around load shedding, yeah, that's what obtains here, yeah, yeah. but that's not what obtains there. So uh, I, I needed to look at the global picture now. So the principles are the same. It's still the same Ohm's law, still the same uh, uh, all the laws, really, that we would use. But again, we have to look at the environment we have, what obtains, and then we are able to, uh, to take it from. So generally, I would say principles global, operation Look up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Glory from Moe sent right. in a, a question okay. on our social media. He said, Is constructive engineering demanding? Constructive? No, uh, I think he wants to say construction. construction engineering. It says you demanding. Probably is it, you have an interest in that area. Yeah, construction is very. Uh, well, I think it's about interest again, really. Uh, construction is good. For instance, I don't do construction. I do design, but when I com when I complete my job as a design, I mean complete my design, the construction engineers uh, take it up from there. They enjoy being on the field. They enjoy. I tell you, you know, uh, for instance, um, this engineering thing uh, we talk about. You mentioned uh, being getting dirty. Some people are really happy to get dirty. So you might be very. It's demanding. But it's also very, very enjoyable. I have colleagues that really enjoy it, enjoy what they are doing. And um, so everything is demanding, really. Yeah, yeah I was saying. Every, 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 every profession is demanding. demanding yes. But uh, your if you have the interest there, I think you will just enjoy it. I have colleagues that really do and enjoy it. All right. Now, your final word, because I have been told to round off. Okay. I want to look into that camera and tell that young person watching you what is on your mind. All right. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, I've just said it um, in my, in, uh, on my slide. The, 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 in the near future, machines are methods will be replaced by human. I mean, by, uh, by, 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 by humans. And then it is human beings that would really take up this responsibility. It's human beings that will control everything that we're doing. So if you actually, I, 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 yeah, I would just say this really. Take the interest. The interest is key for us. If you take the interest, the sky is just your, your starting point to do what you need to do. Thank you very much. All right. If you are interested, the sky is your starting point. That is a message from Engineer Wally Olaluwi. And I thank you so much for coming. Thank you for taking through the stress. I understand the stress that you went through <laughs> in coming here today. And that is it on this program. And Glory, from where you got our question correctly, metallurgy is for metal. Thermodynamics is for heat. So if you, now you got to, so Glory, I would like to call this number and get your price from our sponsor, 7703-161-1497, Call that number and claim your price, courtesy of our sponsor. And as we go, our question for the week, why is the sky blue? Just that simple statement. Just drop the answer in the course of the week on our social media handles and you will get your price from our sponsor. We have to go now and say a big thank you to you for watching. A big thank you to our sponsor, Prince Engineering of Shilon, for making us come to your viewing pleasure every Friday. Until next Friday, with another guest, another topic, I want to say a big thank you. Bye-bye.